Steven, you ain't rub your hair. Why can Lindsay smile so bad? Last of all, you gonna get on my last nerve. Steven, know you're cute. Chris, you still friends with them? Oh. Tina's so fun. Mark is actually concerned. He caught a Lindsay and I both. Love me some sriracha. Steven's like a vagabond. That's a she in dress? Call him now. I just love Jasmine's mother. I understand where Alyssa is coming from. Can I men in black this? She didn't even get to know Chris. This is exactly what I was talking about in the beginning. I go bang bang. What happened between Lindsay and her mother? Chris, the other sister. I don't even really know this man's personality, but okay. Again, these breakfast rations. She don't even want to be near him? My goodness. Don't ask me, ask your mama. That's not funny. What up, Married at First Sight family? And welcome back to From Rizzo with Love with me, your girl Rizzo. As we recap, Married at First Sight's season 14, episode four. Blah, 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 intro, intro, intro. My shirt matches the wall. All of that good stuff. Y'all, does Alyssa lead this man? I am so... <laughs> interested in how the rest of this story plays out. I can't even give y'all much of Okay, no, just playing. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. If this is your first time, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All of that good stuff. I swear I'm much more like welcoming than I am right now, but I don't want to waste any time because Alyssa, Chris, like what's what's going on? <laughs> I need to also, Elijah Wan, you gonna get on my last nerves. I feel like Elijah Wan is like fun and funny in doses, but like, I just feel like I'm gonna like, check the out of him sometimes. Is he younger than I am? I feel like, for some reason, I feel like he's like a little brother and I gotta be like, Elijah Wan. I don't know about you, but I am predicting love this season. <laughs> and I mean love like past the reunion. Like couples cam kind of love. Not Virginia and Eric couples cam. Like Anthony and Ashley couple love. You know, have a couple kids, make some business moves, laugh a little. Have y'all seen, oh my God, have y'all seen Mila's little TikTok moments? <sighs> my goodness. Ashley, what an amazing job you're doing. Okay, so without further ado, y'all, let's get to it. Do not forget to subscribe. Oh, and real quick, this is the episode before they leave for the honeymoon. So this is the night after and the night of the wedding night, right? Then this is the day after where they meet with the friends and family for that little brunch moment. Again, love these moments where we get information from people who have known them but also hate these moments where we get information from people who know them because I think it will taint their partners and their spouses. It's like a double-edged sword, right? Because on one side, I'm like, yay, now somebody else can tell you who they are and you're not like worried about them. But the other side is if they tell you something negative, you're going to be like looking and searching for it. And that only may be negative for that interaction. If a mom calls a daughter a brat or something, like that could be the case with you, but she, she may not be a brat with everyone. You know what I'm saying? Like things like that. So I'm worried. Okay, Chris, your friends up. Mark the shark is not only carrying her over the threshold, he is carrying her down the hall. You better own a gym. Y'all, you can tell that Mark is actually concerned with how much energy Lindsay has. He's like, damn, I know I had a lot of energy. Did I tell the experts I needed someone with this much energy? Because I don't. I love that little moment between Steve and Noy, the give me your hand, hold the hand, and then he pulls it in the kiss. Oh, Y'all go bang bang. Okay. Ooh. Katina's so fun. Katina, Elijah Wan seems like somebody who could be patient. You ain't met the same person we met behind the scenes, doing his interviews, talking to his brother. Okay. He just wanna touch her again. Oh my goodness. What happened between Lindsay and her mother? I'm really curious. Damn, so his mother is just, not just, but his mother is like really depressed. Why does Lindsay look cuter in a ponytail without makeup? <laughs> Lindsay, we, we like this. Michael said, what side do you want? Jasmina said, the middle. Cause we caught a Linda and I Bo. I just dated one guy who didn't want to argue with me. Uh, you won't have that problem with me. <laughs> I do feel like if he comes up against it, Michael will pop off too. He grew up around all these sisters. He knows how to clap back. That could be a little worrisome, but we'll see how that plays out. Steven Noy, you're cute. Noy, what's this little scar on your elbow? What you do? You seem like you got into some shit. Like you was jumping over a fence as a kid or like cartwheeling, you jumped off of something. Like what'd you do? Shoot it I'm putting these hearts up just in case. I don't know what's going on. She don't even want to be near him? As I oh my God. Damn, they're walking into this honeymoon with candles and rosy petals and champagne. Excuse me, the hotel room. Honeymoon, moon suite. I'm sorry, I'm so distracted. Oh, she feels uncomfortable. This is what I'm talking about. I thought she was upset. I thought it was a friend thing and something that he did. But this is like some things that were said to me, which means it's the things that his friend said. 
This is exactly what I was talking about in the beginning. How things that people say about you can influence the person. She didn't even get to know Chris to see if those things are actually true or formulate her own opinions. She is just taking everything that his friends said and rolling with it. This is bad. This is worse than Ryan's sister. <laughs> Your friend said something. Call him now. Damn, and he said this whole day has been about making her feel comfortable. And that's exactly right. Remember, that was one of my biggest concerns with him is that he's trying to make her feel too comfortable, like way more comfortable than he is. <sighs> wow. Katina, you ain't wrap your hair. You don't wrap your hair at night? Or are you just doing this because it's the first night for your man? Okay. All right. All right, stops. He gets one. Mark and Lindsay smiles are the best. <laughs> Why does he need to work on his his cuddle game? Is more than just cuddling. He tries to do other stuff. Mm -hmm. Elijah Wan's dream job is to work at those Vegas pool parties every day and just dance on those pillars, shake his shit, and gyrate on people and throw beach balls. And his joy is going to be when he hits someone with a beach ball every single day. Oh, and and like shaking bottles and popping them. That's his dream job. I don't know why he getting married at first sight. Yo, Michael needs black coffee. That man is waking up at 4 a.m. Yeah. Do you see what he did? That was a way to make sure that she was gonna change her name. Do you even know what my last name is or your last name? She went with it. She seems traditional though. Who's not? Lindsay maybe. Noi, Noi is gonna take Noi Moy. I don't think Alyssa's taking anything. No, she not even taking his phone number. That's not funny. Oh, I love that. Lindsay said, I don't know about everybody else's husband and wife, but I feel like I got the prize. Lindsay, we love to hear that. Keep that same energy come episode seven. What is this? Four? Keep that same energy come episode. Yeah, seven is probably when it goes downhill. Ooh, Noi is really good with words. His presence makes me feel at ease. Mm. Okay, again, these breakfast rations. We are still trying to recover from Paige and Steve eating all that breakfast because we got two coffees, two orange juices. That's a baby muffin. And what is that, some bread? What, am I, what do we, guys, we had weddings outside. We didn't even have to pay for the venue, guys. Come on. Hey, Noy and Steve didn't have sex, Sorry, okay. So he was a hoe, she's had a buddy. That's not the same. He has multiple women, no titles at the same time. Shorty has one person that she consistently has sex with. Not the same and I'ma stick by that. Don't ask me, ask your mama. Okay, what we getting from Chris and Alyssa? Now, now see, this is what I understand. Why Chris got this big breakfast and it's just him? You see how interested I am in their breakfast? <laughs> is that a Vineyard Vines shirt? Chris, you just keep reinforcing a realtor. New England, disc golf, trope. Oh, they, they talk, okay. They didn't buy. That's the same PJ she wore the other day, or outfit, or whatever. He said, I'm not wasting that outfit. This is bad. She wearing the same outfit. Mm -mm. I'm worried that you're checked out completely. So that's that's what I'm feeling right now. Yeah. It seems like. <laughs> she said, okay. Like See, and the experts link them up because they both have hobbies. I told y'all, having hobbies is one thing, but they are two different hobbies. That's not a that's not how you do things. I do like how Chris changed his note there. He said. I wanna do whatever makes you feel comfortable and me. This is the first time that Chris isn't just worried about her and he is now thinking about himself because he realizes, okay, this ain't just about her cause she hurt me. She's putting me out here like this. Let me make sure I'm taking care of me too. And Chris, not mad at that. Alyssa, I hate that you've like made your mind up already. You said our personalities don't click. How you, you don't even really know this man's personality, but okay. Your friends, y'all, ooh. Chris, you still friends with them? It sounds like Alyssa has like given up at this point, but she's like, all right, well, my contract says I have to do this. So let's just make sure we have a good experience. We'll just continue to go through this as friends, but I don't want to be with you. Okay, meet the parents and friends and stuff now. That's a she interest? Okay. Wait, where's the other sister? Oh, that is a defense mechanism. That's sad. You think the worst first so that if something good happens, it's great, but you don't want to think the best or like be real about it because you don't want to get disappointed later. That is a trauma response. Jasmina's relationships have all been long distance. Okay, wait a minute, because on one side, let me give you the bad first. The bad is that you've never had to share your space with someone all the time. They've never been in your face at all points. You've never had constant interaction. You need that space. Now, the good thing is 
this man ain't never home. <laughs> so it's almost like you in a long distance relationship. First of all, I love that everybody got the memo that we are to wear tan, beige, browns, khakis, or whatever this is, Michael and Jasmina's people. Thank you. Y'all look like y'all about to go on a Travel Noir trip. Does Travel Noir even exist anymore? I just love Jasmina's mother. Wow, it's concerning and it's exciting. You haven't seen a happy, healthy relationship to model yourself after, but it's exciting that you've been raised by all these women so you know how to treat and interact with women. I get it, Jasmina's mother. Maybe it's not Jasmina, maybe Jasmina's mother is my BFF this season. Jasmina's mother, what is your occupation? I'm going something teacher, but like high school, you know, eighth grade-ish maybe, history, social studies, something where you gotta talk and interact a lot. Mm-hmm, that's, that's where I'm going. Ooh, she said what we're seeing right now is superficial. Oh my God, no, you don't cry again, you make me cry. <laughs> Steven's like a vagabond. <laughs> Not Noy's younger brother dressing up to play this man. Yo, I love what he just said there. He said, it's not my alter ego, this is just me. That's how I feel about Noisy. Noisy is Noy, it's not our alter ego, that's her. Love me some sriracha. <laughs> Why'd you travel, did you eat love, pray? Steve is a good 38. That's that Asian cheekbone 38. Listen, give me your tricks. I love that. Lindsay is like not even giving advice on Mark the shark because she's like, I'm content in this. Any advice on the mom situation? Good. Those are things you can't ask Mark. So get that from his friends. How I can be supportive for him. Wait, she was a hospice nurse? She is a caretaker? Okay. Y'all match people based on professions. Okay. They have a Lindsay survival kit. Earplugs? <laughs> a nobody. You heard dad? Her tongue sometimes can be vicious. I told you I was worried about that. I'm gonna use this pencil filter because I want to erase this memory that I have. Can I men in black this? They don't know. Damn, Chris said if she's 1% in, then I'll give it a shot. Dang. Okay, Alyssa is meeting with the family. Is Alyssa gonna tell the family? Do they know? Has Chris told them? It's just more and more things that Alyssa is being told that she just does not like. Now he's telling her that she's gonna come second to his job. And she is a princess. She needs to be catered to at all times. <sighs> Before I wrap this up, I do want to say I understand where Alyssa is coming from and not wanting to share that with the family just yet, right? Because she's not done processing her own feelings. She doesn't even know what she could say. Like, I just don't feel like we vibe. Like, that mama and whoever these other people are, they're not going to feel that because they love this man. They think you guys are a great match. So if you can't process that and if you can't articulate how you're feeling, don't share it with other people because they are just going to talk you out of it. And also, it's day one. So you're gonna sound crazy. And mom is gonna look at you crazy because you telling her that her son is not the right person for you. And she's like, well, what's wrong with the son that I made? Like, you can't, you can't do that. You can't have that conversation. I will say, I do appreciate Alyssa for meeting with them. Again, I don't know if this is contractual, but remember, Chris did not. And he, I guess he had the right to because I can't. Chris closed the subway down, so I didn't think he had enough money to pay, you know, whatever is in his contract that says that if he doesn't do it, you know, he doesn't get on. But um, I do appreciate her for doing that. Lord, this is, this is a lot. And we are in episode four. Actually, only part one. Guys, make sure you join me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like, comment, all of that good stuff. One, so this can move up the algorithm, but two, so you can be in the know of when we drop the next video because part two will be coming in two days. Thank you guys so much for watching and please, one, no arguing in the comments, but two, please remember that everything that I have said has been from Rizzo with love. Thank you guys so much. Hit the subscribe button. Hit a video if you haven't seen it already. Love y'all so much. The positive comments, oh my lord. Also, I'm about to watch this um, next half right now, so I'll be able to reply the, to the comments a little quicker.